and welcome back to the channel on this video i'm about to ride the lyric graffiti for a quick spin around the neighborhood but first i wanted to uh talk a little bit about it's about to rain here and i thought i'd be doing a rain ride but it's not raining at the moment as we look at the fenders on the bike and i'm going to do a video talking about riding in the rain and what i wear on a rainy ride so first off let's start let me take the camera off of this show you what i'm wearing so since it's not raining and the sun's playing peekaboo with us uh, so here i am here and i've got my let's start at the head to toe i've got my helmet on that's the x nito helmet i've got a baseball cap underneath it and if it's colder weather then i'm going to have the toque on or as you may call it a knit cap or a uh, whatever you call it a uh, hat I guess would be another word so I've got that I've got my glasses which are really important for riding in the rain because when you get rain in the eyes it's no fun if you've had it happen before it'll burn your eyes and plus it um, will cause you to uh, not be able to see when you're riding so it's important to wear some kind of eye protection when you're riding so uh, let's go down to the jacket so i'm wearing a rain jacket right here i do not have the rain pants on at the moment as you can see i'm just wearing jeans but i do have a pair of rain pants that kind of match this jacket and then we go down to the boots i'm wearing timberland boots and i gotta tell you they're not the greatest in the world because they do tend to leak after a while when you've been out for a little while so that's not good so uh there's that and then i got the gloves right there the uh those are the kemimoto gloves which are fine but if it gets wet once again rain they don't hold the uh rain water out they get wet your hands get wet and cold so that's not good so i'm looking if anybody out there knows or any company out there knows good gloves and boots that I can wear that'll keep me dry because I can't find any I've had several pairs of boots and gloves and I've yet to find a pair that actually work to what I want to keep me dry and warm so let's go for a ride and talk a little bit more about riding in the rain so that's pretty much what I wear and then it depends on like I say it depends on the weather um, and how cold it is as to whether I wear a uh, toque stocking cap is the other word I was going to say a toque or a stocking cap or knit cap or whatever you want to call it I call it a toque in my world um, so and I'll wear a different uh, jacket for the rain and cold I've got a winter jacket that I just purchased that seems to be pretty good in the uh, in the uh, rainy weather and cold uh, but i haven't had it long enough to really confirm that but i think it's going to be fine the uh, today it's mild out here it's in, it's like 62 degrees or so so i don't really need to load up on heavy uh gear like that or you'll get extra warm but i think the uh, glasses are pretty important too like i say to keep the uh, keep the rain out of your eyes so here in the uh, Pacific Northwest it rains a lot uh, in the uh, fall and winter and we're in one of the rainy months I think November and December are the two rainiest months of the year and we are definitely in November right now so but if anybody uh, has any recommendations for, for me or for gloves or for uh, boots, please let me know in the comments below. You need to find me a good pair of gloves and a good pair of boots for the rain. 
I know these boots would probably be okay for just riding riding around a little bit in the rain but if you do extended riding or anything more like for a long period I don't they're not gonna hold the rain I know for a fact so if you're hiking or that kind of thing they are not the greatest after a while your feet start getting wet and that and that causes you to be cold and then that's not so much fun when you have that going on so so I'm looking for boots and gloves these gloves like I say the water just absorbs and goes right through and they get heavy and not good they're good for short rides or if it's not raining these boot, these uh, gloves are fine but if you get rain uh, then forget it because once your hands get wet like I say same with feet you start feeling cold and that's not a comfortable situation if you're going to be riding in the uh, in the rainy weather or snowy weather for that matter so any help there uh, would be appreciated and I think uh, thank you uh, for that but yeah we're getting into the, uh, the rainy time here we're kind of in and out of the rain right now today's been a mixed bag you get a pretty good rain coming down and then the sun pops out and then the rain comes back and we've had pretty good wind today too and it's really knocking down the leaves off of the trees now uh, some of the trees are bare already and some of them are uh, not going to be long before they're bare the ones that do have leaves some pretty nice colors going on though right now So just because it's raining outside doesn't mean we have to hang up our equipment including the bike and stop riding. This is the kind of weather though that I'm appreciative of fenders on the bike. I know a lot of people don't like, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but there's there's several people that say they don't like uh, fenders on their bike for the fact that they kind of don't look, uh, they, they make the bike look ugly and not sporty looking. It doesn't really bother me. I mean, some fenders look better to me than others. And the fenders on this uh, Lyric Graffiti, which I'm riding right now, are metal fenders. And I actually, I'm in the, metal fender uh, side. I prefer metal fenders over plastic. I know there are uh, some folks that prefer the plastic. I find the plastic to be cheap and flimsy kind of. Sure the metal will make a little noise once in a while if you um, you know rocks hit them or whatever but at least they'll protect you and they don't move like the uh, they don't move like the plastic ones. The flimsy plastic can move all over the place and uh, bounce around and that kind of thing. Yeah, I was expecting uh, some rain on this ride, but as of right now, uh, my recording of this video, the rain is gone. It was raining earlier, like I say, off and on today, but when I came to do the video, the rain decided to part for now, which is fine. And that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.